Welcome back collectors. Today I have a ton of new Hot Wheels to show you that I just picked up at my local diecast store, Aurelia Diecast. Uh, also got a few Walmart finds, but we're just going to go over the differences in the 2022 Hot Wheel packaging versus the 2021 packaging in case you're looking to find some new Hot Wheels. They are starting to hit the stores now. Uh, also some favorites from the Matchbox series. Got the 84 Toyota MR2 and the 2021 Ford Bronco. Pretty cool Matchbox finds. Was quite happy with those. But mainly today we're looking at these Team Transport. I got the full uh, latest release, which is number 35, 36, and 37 of the set. I've also got three full sets of the Modern Classics. Uh, we're going to open a sealed case. Not that there's anything different in there. There's no treasure hunts or anything in these sorts of cars. Because they pretty, pretty much are treasure hunts already. Uh, I also have Fast and the Furious. That's the latest one, too. So that one is Case uh, N. Fast and Furious Case N. And the Modern Classics Case G for the code on those. Let's spin the camera around and take a closer look at these cars. All right, let's go ahead and make some room for the Modern Classics Case and the Fast and the Furious Case. And as we go in for a closer look, Let's see what we've got in the 956N Fast and the Furious. I don't actually even remember what cars are in there. Might as well open up both cases while we're here. The little X-Acto knife. Oh, got some tape stuck to the edge. That makes it cutting a little bit more difficult, but we'll figure that out later. Okay, so we're gonna crack these things open and take a look at them now. I think we're gonna open up the uh, Modern Classics first. So let's move the Fast and the Furious case out the way. And this is how they come from the factory. So for anyone asking the very common question, which I get a lot, where do you get a sealed case? Check out your local diecast stores if you have one. You're not gonna be able to find these at Walmart like this, most likely. Uh, you will be able to order them from many different distributors online, eBay, that's where I would suggest it. But as it is, these are uh, beautiful cars from the Modern Classic series. We're starting with number two here. And of course, you're going to get two of each car in the set. So some really nice details. And I think we'll go ahead and open up one full set of these cars. As a part of this review, there's all five that you're going to see. Let's just get them out. So that makes three BMWs that I have with the other full set. Next out is the Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4. I mean, look at the artwork on these cars too. Just, it's so nice to see these cars being made by Mattel for collectors now. Uh, very interesting. These are the cars I grew up kind of wanting to own. Uh, seeing on the roads, so very nostalgic for me. The Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution V1, so that's number six. Again, some fantastic artwork. And uh, metallic paint on this one. We'll do a real zoom in once they're out of the packaging. Now, this one's probably going to be my favorite, the Nissan 300ZX. Yes, I am Canadian. That's why I pronounce Z as Z. Uh, twin Turbo. So, we've got two of those. Really nice wheels on this car as well that actually match the artwork. And uh, you've got the full decorations of taillights, license plate, headlights, fog lights, Emblems, everything is accounted for on these cars. There are mirrors cast into the body, which is really nice to see. And this is going to be a favorite for a lot of people as well. The 98 Honda Prelude. Let's take a closer look at this one in metallic silver. Really nice car. Again, fantastic artwork. Great matching wheels. All these cars have matching wheels to their pictures. So that is really nice to see. Just a final overview of the cars in their packaging. I mean, we can't really see the Beamer's wheels too easily in this picture, but these are rubber tires on this uh, BBS-style basket wheel. 
Okay, let's open up another case. Um, before we get into opening these cars out of their packaging, let's keep the video rolling for the Fast and the Furious. This one's going to come as a surprise to me. I don't remember what is in here. It's got an interesting little space provider. First one coming out is the Land Rover Defender 90, number 5 of 5. Awesome. Got a little bit of uh, package kind of abrasions on the top, but nothing. It's just really dust. So there, again, really de great details. I do not believe it has a rubber tire on the back, but this is a cool casting, and... Uh, we're going to open up a full set of these as well. Looks like some nice cars in this mix. This is why I buy the full case. I like to keep one in the package because the artwork is so great and another to open up and review with you guys, which ultimately ends up on the Plano display case wall in the Diecast Museum. So here we have the custom Mustang. It doesn't have a year on it. Very cool. Looks quite new. Of course, the packaging is going to be pretty much the same all the way around. And the Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. Interesting how in these this lineup, you've got the front view of the car only. Which is something different compared to the uh, modern classics line. So it's nice to see the differences in the collectible series. Oh, this is a cool one. Got the Jeep Gladiator, and uh, it has the traction bars, I think, or traction ramps on the side. Roll cage, an accessory roll cage. Got a winch on the front of it. Very cool. Very, very cool Jeep. Metal on metal, of course. So there was two of those as well. And the final car in the Fast and the Furious. Lineup is the Honda S2000, which looks really cool with this paint job, kind of big snowflakes on it, awesome wheels, and just terrific details all the way around. So there we go. That is the whole bunch of vehicles that we've just opened up, and of course more of those modern classics. So really, I'm just going to look for the ones with the most damaged cards if any i don't think any of the cards look damaged but we'll open up a full set of those and let's take a look at team transport as well i'm not opening up the team transport vehicles i do have one to open up but I, i'm not going to open these up because i only bought one of each and i do really like the artwork and i display them by hanging them on a thumbtack from the various walls in the diecast museum so we've got the aero lift with the 2021 toyota supra gr on the back Nice graphics and tampos on it. Looks like it's got a clear coat. I was told that these trucks are mainly European-like trucks, likenesses. And uh, I'm not really sure if they're licensed or not. I really don't think that they are, but they do resemble trucks. More seen on European roadways, I would think. So we've got the Aerolift again with the Volkswagen IDR race car. Very cool. These have real riders, metal on metal. And the uh, carry-on with the Corvette C8R. So the carry-on kind of looks like a GMC to me. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to look like, but uh, it's got a very nice metal ramp piece on the back. Holds the Corvette just perfectly. And what a nice looking Corvette. Great paint job on that one. So that's all we can see from those. Uh, this was the last Team Transport I bought, actually. It's number uh, 30... Which one is this? I don't know. 33. There we go. The Ford RS200 with the rally van and trailer. So I bought two of these, this particular set because I really like it. Uh, the artwork is terrific as well. It's all muddy and stuff like that. But we're going to go ahead and open this one up actually so let's have a look at it i don't normally open my team transports and here we go out of the package at last 
And you know what you got to do with those white vehicles right off the bat? You got to take a nice big sniff. Mmm, fresh Mattel paint, just like that. Smells wonderful. So let's try these vehicles out for size on the table. Very substantial set of vehicles. All metal trailer. And uh, there you go. Very, very cool. Let's take a look at the car first. So there you have it, the RS200, probably one of the coolest castings that has come out in 2021, I would say. And I hope to see more of this casting with some different paint jobs. And here is the trailer in which it sits on, all metal except for this little plastic base piece here, rubber tires. And so you can see that just looks fantastic on there. And then, of course, the racing van, Ford van. Now, I don't know that it's a licensed van. It certainly doesn't appear to be. There we go. Focus was taking its time thinking about what to do. But it is very cool. And it's quite heavy. They just call it the rally van. It's got this plastic piece on the top. So there you have it, the hitch, very substantial metal hitch. Okay, so I've selected the vehicles to be opened. None of the packaging was damaged. So we're just gonna go ahead and get these all opened up. Oh, that we're off to a dirty start here. Dirty, dirty start. And that packaging is done. Oh, that's a little bit cleaner. Got that one out. And I know a lot of people say, well, this is ruining the value of the vehicle. I disagree. Uh, yes, it might be worth slightly more at resale years down the road by having the packaging. But these things are mass produced now. And uh, I personally don't have the space to store this many cars with the packaging. So for that reason, I like to get all the vehicles out of the packaging. Also, how could I do a good review with you guys if I didn't show you these vehicles up close with lots of, uh, you know, free of the packaging sort of thing. So really nice pieces here. As you can see, I don't know what year this Mustang is. I would guess it is fairly new. It's a Ford Shelby GT350R. And uh, very high quality rolling, as you can see. Typical of Hot Wheels. And the Land Rover looks fantastic in black like i said it does have a plastic wheel on the back it's not rubber land rover defender 90 very cool it's got a nice satisfying hum on the table with those big off-road tires and speaking of off-road tires let's check out the jeep gladiator very detailed vehicle it's got a textured roof and further details in the back there, as you can see, we've got some supplies. Just a fantastic job on this 2020 Gladiator. And now on to the Honda S2000. Now, they look like snowflakes, but I don't think they're actually snowflakes. Can't quite remember what they're supposed to be. And it doesn't have a year on this car, but it looks really good. The final car in the Fast and the Furious, Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. There's the Hellcat emblem behind the front wheel. This carbon fiber looks stripe up the uh, center. Very cool. Blacked out five spoke wheels. And it is a 2020 Dodge Charger Hellcat. So there you have it. That is the Fast and the Furious Selection N case. Probably the last case I think we're going to see for the 2020 year. Given that it is almost Christmas. Let's open up some modern classics now. And there you go. 
one out. So there's a bit of a dirty break. I call it a dirty break if the cardboard prevents me from getting the car out easily. Uh, yeah, there's cleaner ways of opening these packaging, but like I said, I've got a second set for uh, historical reasons and the art enjoyment. I'm not too concerned about saving packaging right now. And as you can see, nice, smooth rolling cars. Let's take a look at each one, starting with the BMW. Zoomification. Really, really good details on those headlights. And uh, perfect condition paint. As always, it's even got the door locks painted. Bit of a misalignment on the signal here, as I think the print machine does print from the side and then the back, so there is sometimes some misalignment like that. It's, the signal light should be in line with the taillights. The license plate reads 92 Beamer. Very cool. Let's take a look at this car now. Uh, very similar to the Dodge Stealth Mitsubishi. And it looks like the emblem is a little bit uh, smudged, maybe. Should be a little bit brighter, I think. Not a big deal. Great alignment on all of the uh, lights. And spicy GT, it says. Very spicy indeed. It is red hot. Okay, now we're looking at this one, the Lancer. Uh, some slight marks on the windshield, but on the side window, so that window pane may have taken a few hits at the factory. The Evolution CR, it says, on the license plate. Plastic spoiler, or is that, yeah, that is a plastic spoiler. Hard plastic. And very cool. Nicely proportioned car. The Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo. Really good. Hard to get those headlights to look dimensional, but they pull it off very nicely. And the T-top looks great on it. ZX Turbo on the license plate with the uh, twin turbo badging up at the top right. And now for the Prelude. Again, you've got the Honda symbol on the hood, which is not overly visible being silver on silver, but it's there and in good positioning. And uh, what have we got here on the license plate? QL or QLK. I don't know. Clued? Clued. Someone can tell me in the comments what that means because right now I'm stumbling with that. So there you go. That is the Modern Classics and the Fast and Furious Modern Classics Case 957G. Final one for this year. Interesting to see what comes out. And also while we are here, let's take a look at Hot Wheels. So the 2020 version of the packaging as you can see here is there's 250 cars in that package uh, you got the sidebar with the squarish type design here print on the bottom is in black for the name of the car and it's got this blue little swoosh over the three plus age range so quite a difference thankfully for the 2022 packaging as you can see the blue swoosh is now up here behind the 250 so same number of castings produced uh, same squarish kind of decoration there, but not as angled as this one. And of course, the obvious sign being, you know, you've got this. It's not the same Hot Wheels without uh, the flame. And that is gone on this packaging here. We've got something specific to this model, the Rius Rides. R-Y-U's Rides, I guess. With the Mattel symbol at the bottom versus the 3 Plus. Now the 3 Plus is over here. And the name of the vehicle, the Mighty K, is printed in blue. Back of the packaging, not quite as obvious. Looks to be a lot less uh, print on the back, though. And, well, it is pretty obvious. You don't have this big, huge track thing on this 
under the copyrights and stuff. So that's making a bit more room. Let's go ahead and open my first model from 2022. Very cool. And let's see if we can get some zoomage on this vehicle. It's a modified little uh, cargo carrier with a skateboard in the back, a spare wheel. And it looks great. It's a new casting, brand new for 2022. And there it is in with all the other vehicles. And also Matchbox. These are 2021 versions. I'm going to keep the Bronco in the packaging as I have not found another one yet. And I do like the artwork on this one as well. Probably in some future video I'll open it up. I do have two of the 84 MR2. Toyota MR2. So let's go ahead and open up that one. These are $1 Canadian. Look, at it even has a protective piece of plastic in it. $1 Canadian. Hot Wheels are $1.37 Canadian right now. But the Matchbox cars are of the same quality as the Hot Wheels. And a huge increase in quality from years gone by. As far as the details go, the accuracy, the uh, types of models they're producing... I mean, check it out. It almost, like with some real rider tires, this car would be right on par with these other $5, $6 cars. It looks very good and uh, actually fits quite in, quite nicely in with the modern classics, as it would turn out. Quite a nice assortment indeed. Very pleased with this. And, uh, well, let's get that one in there as well. If you're after any of these, of course, happy hunting.